Hello and welcome to the video. I am here in beautiful Malaga. You see, I am spending here a couple of days for home officing, actually. I moved my home office here for a couple of days and this is the story of how I came to the idea and how the realization went. First of all, being in home office for a couple of years, two years actually now, is quite boring sometimes. And one of the possibilities to, to break it up a little is to move the location. And this is why I came to the idea that, okay, why not come to Malaga? Basically, I chose Malaga because I like the Spanish culture, the Spanish people, the attitude of the people, the life, and the whole flair of the of the city is quite positive, so I really like it. So what does it take to go on a home officing trip like this? You need minimal equipment. What did I bring for this working trip of four days? So that you see. Minimal amenities, so shower gel, other stuff, a language book. Bad bag for walking around, tripod, but more sim shorts, my laptop to actually be able to work, shorts, t shirt, underwear. Not much more sunscreen. There I have my masks, papers, toilet papers, and not much more. I know it's minimalist approach, but it will work out just fine. And you need to book a flight, which is quite cheap nowadays. And of course you will need some accommodation too. So a hotel room, something like that. And I chose an apartment in the city center, which costs around 80 euros, but you can also get cheaper ones around 50, 40, 45, 50, they are starting. Because from the city center, you can access everything. There is a very intense nightlife, bars, pubs, everything there. So it is a quite cool place to, to be actually. Living in the center is, is optimal for exploring the neighborhood because you can access everything on foot in around 10 minutes, 5 minutes, depending on the location. And yeah, the city is quite beautiful, actually. There are two important beaches here. The one which I am sitting at is the Malagata beach. It is around 10 minutes on foot from my apartment. And the other beach on the west side of the city is around 30 minutes on foot. I went there yesterday, it's much bigger and seemingly much more local people are there, but both are equally cool, so they are both, both fine. Some details about my, my time schedule for the day. I wake up at around half past seven and then I go for a short walk, I get a cafe and get back to work at around 8, 8.15. Then I work until around yeah, three, four in the in the afternoon. Then I go to the beach. Then eat something somewhere. Do a little sightseeing and so. And the day is over. Somewhere in the afternoon, I also go shopping because you need to to buy something for the morning because in the morning nothing is open here. So life doesn't start until around nine. Only the market opens at eight, but eight is also a little late actually. I'm fascinated by old buildings and this is why, for me especially, two sites were very worth visiting in Malaga. One of them was the cathedral, which I am in right now. This is a very, very nice building. It is huge. It's really fascinating. And you can also go to the rooftop there, which offers beautiful views of the city. And it's, it's quite cool to see, so not to be missed.
And the other thing was, uh, which I have looked at and, and I liked it, it very well, very much, was the Arkasaba, which is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an old castle up the hill. It is also worth visiting. Another cool thing to see is the food market, which is a typical Mediterranean food market with fish, meat and fruits and everything you, you would want to eat and it's really really worth checking out. I'm at the market in Malaga, it's just opening, it's 8 in the morning, let's see what's inside. The journey came to an end. I am at the airport. If you made it so far, thank you, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye bye.